Hello! In this video, I will be solving an equation involving the floor and a ceiling function. If you haven't watched it, I highly suggest that you watch first the introduction on floor and ceiling functions. Okay? So let's start. Uh, in general, when solving equations involving ceiling or floor functions, you always have to start with or by assuming that the variable is an integer. Why is that so? Because that makes the solution a little more simpler. And uh, for example, this one, the floor and ceiling function of x, if, if x is an integer, simplifies to just x if x is an integer. So this equation now becomes x is equal to 2x plus 3. We solve for x and we get 2x minus x is equal to negative 3. Therefore, x is equal to negative 3. Let's check. If, if x is negative 3, we get the ceiling of negative 3, which is negative 3, equals 2 times the floor of negative 3. That's also negative 3. And then plus 3. This is 2 times negative 3. That's negative 6 plus 3. That's, that's going to give you negative 3. So this one is true. Now let's assume now that x is not an integer. Okay, so if x not an integer. So let's say x is equal to k plus uh, m, where k is an integer. So what makes this uh, solution good is that this makes the floor function of k x equal to k. Because it's just m, uh, m something uh, greater than an integer k. Then the, the ceiling of x becomes k plus 1. Yes? For example, if you get, if you get the floor of 1.5, that's 1, then the ceiling of 1.5 is 2. So, lagi siyang 1 more than yung ceiling. Yes. So this becomes k plus 1 is equal to 2 times k plus 3. Again, simplifying this, that's 1 minus 3 is equal to 2k minus k. k is equal to negative 2. k is negative 2. And then m is what's missing. So x is equal to negative 2 plus m. But m is any rational number, or not, not necessarily not rational, but any real number between 0 and 1. This means that your x can range from negative 2 up to negative 1. To negative 1. Gets? So, the question now is, should this be open or should this be closed? So, what I mean is, should this be like that or like this or half open half open half close and so on the answer is it's just open both open why because by from this solution we have assumed that x is not an integer so if you include this then you are saying that x is equal to negative 2 and x is an integer which is which is a contradiction to your assumption therefore the solution set for this one is x is equal to negative 3 or x is between negative 2 and 1. Yes, uh, although we haven't checked yet, we can try something in between negative 2 and negative 1. Let's say negative 1.5. The ceiling of negative 1.5 is negative 1. The floor of negative 1.5 is negative 2. So you get this negative 1 is equal to negative 4 plus 3. So this is negative 1. So this is true. So the answer is x equals to negative 3 or x is between negative 1, negative 1 and negative 2. Gets? Okay, that's it for this video and it's quite simple. And for the next videos, I will be solving more complicated expressions involving floor, ceiling, and fractional part. See you. Bye-bye.